call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Flute here and I'm bringing you episode 2 of my Train to a Million series. So I went out and spent all of the 52k coins that I had to spend from the first episode and I bought a load of gold players. This is pretty much my whole trade pile full with just gold players which I bidded 600 coins on. And I went out thinking, just if I bid 600 coins on them, there's no risk at all, I can always discard them for more. And if I go for popular formations like 4 trouble 3, 4 trouble 2, 4 2 3 1, all of those kind of formations, then they will definitely sell. So this is a really good method if you don't have many coins, if you had like 40k and you just want to get your trade power full of kind of like 400 coin profits on each player. It's a really good method if you want to get to around about 100k. Uh, I wouldn't advise doing it if you have like 100k or any more than that, so... Uh, yeah, this is pretty much it for all of these players. I also got a couple of silvers in there like uh, Becchio and Paolo Mashdo who, if I do list them up for anywhere less than 2k, that will be cheapest on the market and they will sell. Uh, Felipe Santanas, I got a couple of these. I picked up one for 11k and another one for 9.9k. The cheapest on the market in a 4 one 2 one 2 formation was 15k, so I'm going to list mine for 15k as well as the cheapest on the market and they should definitely sell for that because that will be cheapest on the market. And a load of plays in my watch list as well as you saw from the end there uh, pretty much half of my trade pile sold I think that was around about 13 items which sold uh, two of the silvers have sold uh, one silver hasn't and I'm currently on 28k so that is quite a lot of profit a Felipe Santana sold for 15k still waiting for a lot of others to sell but right now it was the glitch where the trade pile and the watch list wasn't working of last night so I was really annoyed by this I did have a couple of plays in my watch list which couldn't be removed like the Stecklenburgs here which I picked up like four of them for 3k, uh, 2k and 1.8k so I was happy with that because the cheapest on the market at the time for Stecklenburg was 6k so there was a lot of profit to make uh, to be made even and right now as you can see I'm on 63k so I've gone from 28k to 63k I've sold another Felipe Santana I did list up those Stecklenburgs in the morning when I woke up and I've got a few places which I'm sold about eight or so three Stecklenburgs which I'm sold and if they do sell I'll be on a I'll make about 18k coins just off those three players. So right now I'm just going to show you a method which is called buy low sell high method. A lot of you will know this method just because it was around a lot in FIFA 11 and FIFA 12. I'm just going to quickly going to show you what the lowest buy now of the Stecklenburg is. You can really do this for any player. I've been doing it a lot with Casillas just because Casillas used to go for 60k and I was picking him up for 45k. I was making 15k profits at a time. It doesn't work that much anymore because he's moved up to around about 80k. But uh, for Stecklenburg, his average buy now is 6k in a 4 1 2 1 2. And then I picked up a few right there for 3k, 2k, and 1.8k. So I'm guaranteed to make around about a 2 to 3k profit on him, which is absolutely fantastic at this uh, stage in my trading bit. And right now, this is pretty much what I end the episode on, which is 85k coins. So a lot of profit's been made this episode, about 30, 33k coins profit has been made this episode. And you also did get a trading method out of it. So yeah, this is it for the video, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed this trading episode. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. The link to episode 1 will be in the description because I don't think it's sub box. So uh, yeah. The link's going to be in the description for episode 1. Please leave a like on this video. Check out my channel. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. And follow me on Twitter. This is it for the episode, guys. There is a Gil Hearn left, which hasn't sold. But if he doesn't sell, I'll just discard him for more. Because I did pick him up for 600 coins. And if I discard him, he'll go for like 612 coins. So this is it for the episode, guys. I will see you guys later.